right, we are back with a creating a 5M framework video. Uh, this one going to be part two of the base. Um, so we still haven't tested the whole deleting thing. We're not going to test that just yet. Um, basically, what we are going to do is get out of here. And we have a couple updates. Uh, so I figured this out from last time. Uh, wasn't really that um, hard, I guess, to figure out. But... Um, since we grabbed data.new from here, we actually didn't really need to set it just right here. Um, but this, I guess setting it right here isn't that bad. So we have our NUI callback of selecting character, which actually gets called. You could see, but I don't actually like putting this in the selecting character. Um, instead, let us, we're going to do something a little bit, uh, I think is a little bit better. So we're gonna go to our character and basically it was where, so we're gonna go into here and is it, was it events that we were in? I believe it was. So let's just double check, make sure we have everything in here. So inside of our events, yes. We had our load player here. So this gets all the data that we just had um, passed through and then it sets the data and then it goes into player loaded right here. Now, like I said, we can search for player loaded. We It's only in this right here. So technically we don't have anything going through this. Um, so we should make something go through it. So we're going to print out, we're going to get source, and then we're going to get new. So we're going to pass through our new value here, which is obviously going to be set to uh, one or zero on the load. And then from here, we're going to go into here and we're going to, we could just set it up right here for make it a little easy for us. So what we're going to do is our register net event, um, obviously calling it uh, what we had. And then we're going to add an event handler here and put in what we had as well. Now, a couple things that we are going to get from it, though, is just is literally just going to be new. Um, so comma function and then new. And the reason why, because we could just get our source. So we could just do local source equals get player head and then pass through negative one, right? Uh, what we're not gonna do is, so what we do here, we could remove this. So basically everything in here is the same, right? So we don't need this. And in here, we just do this. So we just do this and this is the spawn menu. We do not need this at all. So what we are gonna do is just set this and doo -doo -doo. so we're not selecting character anymore in here uh it triggers this that we selected our our character though and then it sets our time cycle modifier which is just set to default uh because later on we're gonna have to create a weather sync that then synchronizes everyone to the same weather uh and that's going to be on uh basically pay player load almost is when this is going to happen so we get that now we do a if new equal equals to one, then else end, right? So basically, uh, we could even have this be unfaulted. Uh, we could do else if uh, new equals equals to zero, then. Um, in theory, though, this shouldn't ever get past this. Um, but if set to new, we don't want to give them the menu. So if set to zero, we want to give them a menu because uh, not a new player. Uh, this is a recurring player. And then this would be a new player. So in here, uh, but in both, we sort of want to set them almost up in the air. Uh, well, sort of. Sort of set them up in there. Uh, not. We want to freeze them, basically, both of them. Uh, because there's times where you'll just here like movement or something right but 
believe we can get cam here, right? We have set we have set cams here. Uh, we do. Okay, perfect. That, this actually works out. Um, so what we're gonna do is our, uh, we're gonna set an active camera. So set cam active, and cam, comma false because the camera is not gonna be active. Uh, this is only for new players. Uh, and then basically we're gonna do render. What is it? Script cam. Yes, and then that's gonna be false, false. Uh, one true, true. I believe. I believe we use this somewhere else. Yeah, we use this on the start camera. So it's almost exactly like the start camera. Uh, we're gonna clear our time cycle. So what is it? Clear time cycle modifier. We're just gonna set that to blink for now. And then we are gonna freeze the entity's position. Uh, and this is sort of a huger, a bigger thing. So we're gonna freeze entity position um, being source. Oops. And we're gonna set it to false. Oops, false. And then we're gonna set the cords of the player, uh, which I believe these are the airports. Uh, if not, I could always go check. So entity, ooh, entity, boards of source, and that's going to be negative 1037.88, comma, negative 2738.009, and then 20.17. All right. So we're going to do a couple little research here. So we can go into here, we could do 5M natives, just like so, go into our docs and just make sure that we are setting this. Um, to, to, to freeze or unfreeze, so it's just a Boolean, so we're setting it to unfreeze the player right here, um, which is fine, that's perfectly fine. Um, to, 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 invisible, set player invisible, so, now this this one's a little interesting. Um, so after we set our chords, so basically, hmm, how do we want to do this? Because we look at here, set you completely invisible, health would not complete. So what we're actually gonna do here is a few things. Um, so on player load, we want to spawn you almost in the fucking air. Now, I say that because we you don't want to see yourself, I guess. But uh, because we, you don't want to see yourself, what we're going to actually do is we're going to set ourselves to this. We're going to set it to true. And then we're going to actually set you to uh, be frozen as well. Now... On player load, basically, um, so this is X, Y, Z value. Uh, Z would go up, but you don't want to like be anywhere near anything, right? So this is the airport, obviously. Uh, we could actually just set this. Let's just set this to zero, 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 or zero, zero, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Y we need and put it to 2000 for now and we could test this so uh in air right so we could test that if we're in the air now what we are going to do after this because obviously this is after you set your cords so obviously then we are going to set this to false as you are not going to be invisible anymore whoops invisible just like that so and we are not gonna, we're gonna unfreeze your cords after we set the position, otherwise you're gonna be falling down. Um, so we set you to invisible first, we set you frozen, and then we set your cords so that you're gonna be constantly up in the air, uh, which means nothing will be around you, which should, in theory, well, obviously it would make no one see you, but also nothing to bug out as well. Now, we have to sort of take these same things and go into our open of the menu. So we're going to go into our spawn and where is open menu? 
So open menus right here, and then register spawn right here. So inside of here, um, what we're gonna actually do, we're gonna just register a net event here, and then it's MP. Uh, nah, actually, we don't even need to do this. Uh, inside of here, we can just basically print these in. Um, and it should work in theory. Let me just do local source equals get player head and set this to negative one. Just like so. And that should work. Should work in theory. Um, and we could actually test this out a little bit. So we'll go into MP5M, MP framework, open this up, and we'll just double check, make sure everything is loaded up here. Okay. And we already got one error. We already saw that. So let's scroll up and just fix this error. So database error on 19. Uh, I'm guessing this was from the last time we did it. Database error 19. So we're setting this. Database error 19, yeah. Okay. So what is uh, wrong with this? Let's see. So we got that set. We set new equal to zero, right? At new equals to zero. Uh, and then we got the CID. This, this, this. So what is wrong with here? So, and this is just an else if or scores here. What am I missing? What am I missing here? Set new to equal to zero. Oh, I'm missing the comma right here. That's why. And we'll save that, close this off right here. Um, basically just reopen this just like so. And we shouldn't get this error anymore. Let's just double check on that. Make sure it's no errors and no error we got. Perfect. So then we're going to hop in. And this is going to be a little longer, I guess, of a video. Because I'm just going to, I'm sort of just showing a few things now. So we'll load right in. Um, basically, our character should have our new spawn of zero, which we can see. Let me just zoom out real quick. So we have new of one. So in theory, we possibly should be spawning at the airport, if I am correct. So we'll load right up. Loading the game, make sure we're getting no errors here. Obviously we have the server list error because uh, we're not on the server list, but makes perfect sense to me. So loading all up, and it's taking a little bit, but that's fine. All right. So I don't hear anything. I cannot move. So we're going to select. And let's just see if we get any error. Okay. So we actually didn't get set anywhere. So we're gonna have to bug fix that. Um, let's see, did we get selected? We got selected. No update though came through, it looks like. Did it? Doesn't look like it did update. So we're still set to new equals to one, which should have updated through here. So that is gonna be a little bit of an error. And I could hear me moving, and I am in the wilderness. Okay. So we're all going to have to fix that. So next video, uh, probably might even come out Saturday. Might do a Saturday video. Just going to be quick air fixing. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you on that one.